Yeah. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Can I have my music, please? Are you ready? Time. Hello, judges, and welcome. I'm Claire. And today, I have a story to share with you, translated for this cup of coffee I will brew. The story speaks about Luis Marcellino, founder of Aroma Nativo, and the Vesi project, which also includes my coffee. This project helps small producers gaining access to essential infrastructures to process their coffee. This project embodies the spirit of sharing and solidarity that makes this coffee so special to me. As I'm brewing this amazing cup of coffee and sharing it with you today. I decided to choose this coffee in my competition because I truly stand behind the values of Louis. And as a professional brewer, I wanted to apply my skill to make this coffee shine as much as possible and let you appreciate the work of Louis. The coffee I selected is a pink bourbon, which is known for its bright citric acidity. With honey double fermentation, which means we choose the ripest cherries, put it together in a tank and let it go through an anaerobic fermentation all together, bringing sweetness and fruitiness to the cup. Then, after four days, the coffee cherries are dippled. Sorry. <laughs> the coffee cherries are dippled and go through another anaerobic stage, fermentation stage, sorry. So then we let it sit in a room for three weeks at cool temperature and let it complexify this beautiful floral and fruity note you'll experience in the cup. To roast my coffee, I roasted it on an IFM hot air roaster with a fast profile, since this coffee is already heavily fermented. It gives the best balance between floral and fruity notes without adding too much acidity thanks to the fast profile. So now, for the recipe, I use 16 grams of coffee with 250 grams of water in a brew ratio of 1 to 16. First, I start a blooming with 50 grams of water for 40 seconds at 93 degrees. Then, my first pour will be at 110 milliliters of water with the same temperature. Then, my second pour will be 100 milliliters of coffee, of, of water, sorry, with a lower temperature at 80 degrees, allowing me bringing out the body and a good balance without over-extracting my coffee. As I said earlier, in order to make it, this coffee shine as much as possible, I tried several different brewers. I chose the Aurea, which with its flat bottom enhances the body, the body and the intensity of my coffee. And thanks to the, uh, th thanks to the 
fast button. I can grind my coffee finer without overstrengthening it and adding bitterness. It allows me to keep the balance of my coffee. Now, as my coffee finished brewing, please mark down the, the aromas for me. You will have lychee, rose, and chocolate cake. And as the coffee cools down a little bit, let's get into the descriptors. So for the flavor, you will have, at a hot state, lychee, rose, and brownie. At a warm state, it will be lychee, rose, and grapefruit. And at a warm state, uh, at, uh, as the coffee cools down, sorry, it will be lychee, rose, and all gray. Now for the aftertaste of my coffee, it will be persistent, enduring, like a honey-like sweetness. We've had a hot state, grapefruit. And as the coffee cools down, patient fruit. Now the acidity of my coffee. The acidity of my coffee will be medium high. At the hot state, it will be um, passion fruit. At a warm state, it will be mango. And as the coffee cools down, it will be lime. Now for the sweetness of my coffee, it will be medium high as well. At a hot state, you will have rose and honey. At a warm state, you will have rose, uh, no, sorry. <laughs> um, you will have grapefruit and honey. And as the coffee cools down, you will have passion fruit and honey. Finally, the mouthfeel of my coffee. It will be medium to medium high intensity from hot to cold. It will, it will be at a hot state. You will feel, sorry, <laughs> I'm a little stressed. <laughs> You will feel at a hot state a silky smooth texture and as it cools down it becomes more syrupy like. Now please judges. To assess the aromas, swallow the carafe two times and then you can smell directly on the carafe. This one's for you. This one's for you, and this one's for you. Now for the cups, I choose special cups. The shape of my cups may be a little neutral and simple, but it's to remind you being cozy at home, sipping an extraordinary coffee. Moreover, the color of my cups are pink to express the fruity and floral note of my coffee, like the lychee and the rose, which are both pink. 
Ja, ja. Is this one for you? Maya? This one's for you? Here we go. Maya? And this one's for you. Now enjoy. Thank you for sharing a beautiful and special moment with me. Time. Oh, here. <laughs> that was your time. Wow, that was amazing. Um, where do you work normally? What do you do? Um, I work as a sales consul consultant at Barista at uh -huh. Carasso. Ah, okay. So you're, you're a barista or you're a sales consultant? Uh, I'm more like a sales consultant. I'm like uh, um, sharing the coffee for, mm -hmm. the, for the customers and um, yeah. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. And why did you decide to compete today here? Uh, I wanted to compete to make the more experience I could do because. Mm -hmm. uh, you just. Thank you so much. Have a nice night. Thank you. Thank you. Um, and uh, what was the question again, please? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no worries. It's late. I mean, I'm also very, very tired. So the question was why did you decide to compete? Ah, yeah, I wanted to compete to make as much as a experience as I can do. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it's also very interesting. All the things I can learn, I, I want to learn it, so competition is good for it. I think the feedbacks of the judges uh, for the cup and all of this. I get that. I would love to ask more questions, but I think we're both very, very tired. So I think <laughs> I'm going to let you clean up and breathe yeah. and just enjoy your night. Thank you so much. Thank you too. <laughs>